Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. What's good everyone, we are jumping into day 15 here, I'm actually going to remember to start my timer today, throw this shite in my inventory up on the GE, not one at a time, fucking hate when it does that, and let's get ourselves on to our burbs and our herbs, everybody's favourite part of the day. I've decided I'm actually going to finish my basilisk task, as soon as I've done the burbs and the herbs. We only had like 15 left, so it shouldn't take very long at all. A 60 hunter coming in hot. And once we've done the basilisk task, we'll be able to go check out what our next task is going to be from Kona. Hopefully to give us something decent. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll be able to like have that task gesticulate in my head while I'm finishing off the slug menace and... Potentially doing below Ice Mountain may just go back to the sleigh, depends how excited I'm about the task. That's basically where we're at though. Today would be a questing day primarily, but as I say, the Slayer is taking precedent over the questing at the minute. Until we have done Perilous Moons. Alright, fingers crossed for 6 out of 6. Oh yeah, also as soon as we've done the Basilisk tasks, we can get rid of the Granite Hammer and get our money back from that because it just makes me uncomfortable having so much just in one item. I did not mean to do energy, I meant to do teleport. I actually did the other way that time, now I've made the mistake both ways for fuck's sake. <sighs> yeah, I want to get rid of that hammer ace up because it just makes me feel uncomfortable. It's pretty stable in price, so I shouldn't be worried about it, but man can't help what his brain does. Damn, we filled up our invent. It's a good haul so far today. And Corrin's disease free, so we know that one's safe. It's just Mauritania. Let's check on it now. Ease all of my worries. We do need more Renar seeds, actually. So make sure to stock up on those when we visit the GE. Looking good. <laughs> Six out of six. I don't mean to jinx it, but I feel like our rate is getting better on, like, how many are surviving than when we first started. Our level's higher, so it makes sense, but... Okay, use the correct one. Energy. There we go. Energy. There we go. Very nice. 48 Renars today. Should pay for the next few days of seeds. Not that I know what the damage is at the moment on those, but we'll find out. Okay, they haven't actually sold at the minute. The price seems a bit turbulent. I'm just going to see if I can get these a little cheaper. I don't know. We'll leave it like that. The GE prices seem very unstable right now. So, just going to go get on with today's business and worry about tomorrow in the near future. But not the current. Yes. Words and stuff. Off to finish this Basilisk task. And we will be just shy. 45 Slayer. Out. Out. Alright, this shouldn't take us too long. About 50 minutes on the clock when we got here, so... I'll be surprised if it takes us more than 10 minutes. I don't think it'll take us that long. It's weird, it's almost like the price of Renar seeds is going up, but the price of herbs is going down. In fact, I might just leave my prayer on for these next couple kills and look at the herb calculator and see. Okay, we can't grow to Hostel or Cad or Snapdragon or Quam or Aventur. Renard's the next best option. But right now, the profit's not good on them. They're really low in that list compared to usual. 
usually are now of like the top or the top one or two. It's currently sixth in the list. Only slightly ahead of Toad Fox, so. And the herbs are not actually selling at the price that it's listing them as. So, I think if we don't get the Renars, it, I think I'll, I'll put an offer in at some point for like 26 and a half on the Renars, because I think we put one in at like 25.8 or something. I'll put one in at like 26.5. And if we don't get those by the end of the session, I'll just get some Toad Flax. Or I'll just get some Toad Flax seeds anyway as a backup, because they're so fucking cheap, it doesn't matter. All right, there is the task. Gained a total of 9,300 experience of the duration of that. Very, very close, like I said. 154 XP from our next Slayer level. It is time to see what Kona is offering us. And then we'll go and finish the Slug Menace. Oh, and get rid of this fucking hammer. Why did I come this way? I'm an idiot. I auto-piloted because I ran up here last night on my main. But like, use the shortcut. Alright, what you got, Kona? Hellhounds in the Stronghold Slayer Dungeon. I mean, it's not the best task, but... Ah, <sighs> fuck it. We'll give it a go for a bit, at least. I don't know if we'll finish it. We'll see how painful it is. We could take a cannon to speed up kills. I mean, we're not doing it right now, anyway. Alright, let's start off in Lumbridge. I don't know why it's not picking up that I've already got the blank runes. Should have brought combat bristle. So I don't know if it's gonna direct me. I have to actually remember where they all are. Okay, so we use the water rune. Did that work? Ah, it failed. That's why it tells you to bring these. So both halves can fail. Okay, we got it that time. Right, we'll go to followed on next. Should have brought stamp. Let's just pop into the bank. Might get some more uh, rune essence as well. Okay, we don't need the water tiara even now. Gosh, where are they all? One of them's by a lumberyard. Alcarid. And then like by Goblin Village, I think. Okay, which one's the air? Yeah. Nice. First time lucky. Okay, we'll go. We've got Jeweling Ring on us, so we'll go to the PvP next. Fire. Never lucky. Oh no, we got it. It just disappeared for a minute. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go just reset Ferox because we need different jewelry. Combat bracelet, dig site, actual dig site we're going to. Earth rune. Failed. Ship earth. Got it. Uh, now we just need the mind. So earth, air, fire, water, mind. So we don't need this page anymore, right? Or this one. Please tell me I'm going to the right place, because I'm literally just going off memory. Oh, thank fuck. I got so worried when I wasn't seeing anything. I was like, I swear I should have found it by now. <laughs> just complete guess. Failed. Succeeded. Yay. Reset. Only melee. Then enter the old ruin entrance west of Witchhaven. Okay, so we want our ruins still, so we can get there. Don't think we need this page anymore. Get rid of that. Okay, melee gear. I think we're pretty good to go. I love that we have this shortcut. No idea what level you need. Can't even see. The fact that we can use it is just... Fuck having to run around there. I was thinking about agility earlier, actually. We need a... Uh... Oh, we have to use these on it. We need to actually think about our agility levels. Because so we need to get to 62 just to unlock Tombs of a Mascot. Which is a long way, we're on 49 at the minute. It's a lot of agility. So, I haven't 100% figured it out yet. Wow, what a hard boss. That looked cool with the dual weapons. I'm guessing it's the same animation every time. I wish we could get the follow-up to this weird cutscene that doesn't seem to work. Like, we never got the end of this story. The hell is going on? And there it is. 3.5k in each of these three skills gets us up to 33 rune crafting. I did do the math earlier and make sure, and as soon as we have done Perilous Moons, we will have the level. It will get us the rest of the way. Alright, we're gonna go get ourselves a full set. Open that up. 
bang, bang, bang. We now have the proselyte, which is a nice little prayer bonus. Let's hop on over to the GE and get rid of that. We want that again. Okay, so we've got a hammer to sell. Good stuff. Right, I'm going to take my Renars down. Put this up. 26,500 is what I said. I take this down slightly. Sells instantly. That's nice to have some money back. And we'll get some toad flax seeds so that we have a backup. Okay, hellhounds. The question is, do I want to buy a cannon and take it with us? Cannon 750k. I, I think I'm just going to see how it feels without. So let's go ahead and get ourselves over there. Just going to top up my energy first. Back to the GE. Because I think this is our quickest way to the spirit tree. Adicate's probably similar, but this is what I had on me. Time to mentally prepare myself for some more flicking. If I remember where the hellhounds are, at least they aggro me. Two kills will get us the slayer level here, and then we should get a good idea of how close we are to the next one. How many levels we might get out of this task. <laughs> There's a combat task. I think I'm actually going to go down to the other room, it's much more tightly packed. There's the Slayer level. 77 kills it thinks for the next one. So we could probably get two levels out of this. 77 plus, I don't know, 84 I guess would be how many we have left. 84 might be enough for the next level, it might not. We'll get either two levels out of this task or almost two levels. They're actually dying pretty quick, so I do think it would be nice to have a cannon though, that it would take away some of my melee XP and hit points XP. I think that might be okay because we're only doing this to unlock our training method. This isn't actually our training method. I'm gonna stay here till these pots have run a bit lower, but then I think I might go get myself a cannon. I think we should have enough money to buy it one with some balls. Is it hard clues these guys drop? I know they drop clues, but like it's like the only thing they drop and it's rare still. Way better aggro range than the trolls. This is definitely the the cave out of the three that I want to be in. It's the most tightly packed by far. Ooh. Three kills away from an attack level. I'll still so I get the attack level then go get a cannon. We must be pretty close to the easy tier of combat achievements now. 13 points. Have we ever killed a fire giant? Oh, we can't kill one here though anyway, because it's not in the task. There's 57 attack. So I'm going on cliff for the reset. Plus I don't have my combat bracelet with me. We will want to go wealth. Look at that cash stack, that's nice, isn't it? We've still got our fucking, like, we've got about 350k in Renar seeds and the same amount in Renar weeds. So, like 700k floating on the GE as well, which makes me feel more comfortable about this purchase. Because it will speed up our Slayer training. So, combat bracelet, stamina, and... Oh my gosh, we got to count! But I don't have a bank pin! Oh, what a prick! I don't have a bank pin on this account! Oh no, it's the worst thing! Oh, what a troll. No XP for me. Pretty sure you actually profit from just selling a cannon as well, so that's nice. Hoping you might sell me a cannon. Okay, don't need that or that. How much is this shit? Yeah, you know, like that adds up to more than 750k. If you package it as a set, it might even be more, who knows. Head to the GE. I'm just curious what cannon set is. 769. Yeah, so you do lose money on that, but if you sell them separately, you're good. Plenty for now. Okay. I think I'm just going to embrace spending money to speed this up and use prayer pots like a madman. Alright, got to do another 15 minutes or so before the birdhouse runs with our brand new cannon. Just going to throw the prayer melee up now. Okay, so right now I have 441 prayer. If I put these on, it goes down to 132. It's just not worth it. Not with this cannon here as well. This is speeding the kills up quite significantly. So I've actually just set these to show me where they're... They have like multiple hit boxes, but the one tile that matters for the double hits, I can now see where that is, which should make 
multiple hits more feasible to make it even faster. The reason I kind of wanted to get this prayer rather than having to do it like to do this with my prayer just up mainly because it'll be a lot easier tomorrow when we're doing the live stream recording if I'm not trying to one tick flick the entire hour. Like there's no way that's gonna go well and with the cannon our DPS is still better here than it would be if we were one tick flicking without it so one tick flicking with it probably be better still but the amount of effort it's gonna take me. I feel like it's better to just spend a little bit of effort focusing on getting their true tiles into the correct position. We're breezing through this task now. It wouldn't surprise me if we actually managed to get another level out today. The track has been weird the whole time. Not quite accurate, but like I think we can get 30 kills in 9 minutes. Maybe that's bold of me. Oh, I should have definitely put my full proselyte on, planning to do this with full prayer. I meant to do that, that was one of the other reasons why I decided it was potentially viable. Doing my best to try and get this last level in. It's been a while since there were three hellhounds alive, to be honest. Oh, never mind. Jinxed it. We'll definitely get another level out of those tasks, which means we'll only be one level away after this task from Perilous Moons, which is actually sick. We might even be able to lamp it somehow. I'll have to think about it when I see how close we are. Oh, look at that. It is beautiful. Beautiful. Three minutes to spare. We have used like 300 cannonballs in 10 to 15 minutes though. 61 kills to the next is not bad at all. I think when we started it hadn't properly updated from the basilisks yet, so the first gauge we got of how many kills we needed wasn't accurate. Now, like, it's 60 kills? Like, we'll be close to 48 by the end of this task, never mind just on 47. We will be close to 48. We won't get to 48, but we'll be within sniffing distance of it. And we should be able to get this done tomorrow. No problem, we've already done 60 kills today. We've only been here for about 20 minutes maybe. If you take away the time as well that I spent getting the cannon and shit. Hellhounds turning out to actually not be a terrible task. Terrible loot, but can't win them all. At least we've still got a chance of brimstone keys as well, thinking about it. We haven't seen one yet, but we do have the potential to get them, which is nice. I have to say, my birdhouses have not been feeling great lately. Like, I haven't been getting a lot of nests. It's weird, I feel like we got more nests when we were a lower hunter level. Like, we are still using mahogany rather than you, but I swear we used to get more out of mahogany than this. Like, two nests on this run? That's like kind of average nowadays, which sucks. Okay, still no Renaz bought or sold. I think I am just gonna put my weeds back up a little bit, because they should get to a more decent price. If they don't sell by tomorrow, st oh, did I not? Fuck it. If they don't sell by tomorrow, I still can take them back down a bit, but that is a bit high, to be fair. What did our last lot sell at? 7722. Yeah, that is a bit high, but who knows, maybe. Uh, yeah, pretty solid day. Pretty solid day. What are we looking at cash-wise? Just 330k, but we've got 750 in a cannon, so that's chilling. We will, of course, be getting that back, as well as the money from our black mask still. We've got so much, like, residual money just in 
random items that we need right now, but not forever. So that's kind of a thing. And like I say, we've got about 700k just sat in the GE between our offer for an R seeds and the Renar weeds that we're yet to sell. So that is a bit of extra cash there as well. It's very hard to visualize our cash stack at the minute. It's much easier to visualize our levels though. Let's have a look. We got 65k today. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Standard 7k in Hunter. We got 3.5k each in thieving crafting and rune crafting plus tiny tiny bit extra in some of them for the activities we took during that quest 22,000 attack xp got us another level and a half there we are approaching 58 and we'll get there tomorrow no problems i imagine a slayer we are up to 46 now we started off on 44 today so two levels gained that we were on the edge of 45 pretty much it's looking good i think we will get 48 slayer tomorrow during the live stream you'll have to tune in to find out if we do or not but yeah i think we will we are 8k today and our rate is kind of decent at the minute because we're using the cannon for it now. So tomorrow should be a nice chill day, killing some hellhounds with a cannon and our prayer up. Hopefully talking to some of you guys in chat that come through to hang out. And yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I scheduled a stream for the 100th day of one hour limit locked, which is happening tomorrow at 2 p.m. UK time, which I think is UTC plus one actually, not UTC because of daylight savings garbage. So hopefully I see some of you there and hopefully I saw some of you here. Let me know if you were here by leaving a lovely comment down below. I'm saying lovely comment this time because Santa keeps being mean to me. You'd really think for somebody who widowed me, they'd be nicer, but is what it is. Hit the like button as well and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content I put out. This series is our biggest yet and we have a long way to go still but we are making steady solid progress and starting to look more and more like a machine every day. Yes, range is still our number one start but we're catching up in other regards and we're getting to the point where we're almost starting to look slightly threatening that is going to be it for me today though if you enjoyed the video yeah i already said all that stuff never mind that look after yourselves be lovely to each other and i'll see you on the next one tomorrow live